So I wrote a program that is able to display images in 2D space by rendering them as one continuous line. But how does it work? Well, this line that you see is known as a Hilbert curve, and it is part of a family of lines in mathematics called space-filling curves. In order to explain what space-filling curves are, though, we have to go back to the year 1890, when Italian mathematician Giuseppe Piano, however he pronounce his name, discovered an algorithm for generating a line that could fill up 2D space. This line became known as the Piano Curve, and is generally recognized as the first space-filling curve. The idea of the space-filling curve is that it is a kind of line that maps itself onto a 2D space, such as a square. What that means is that if you could have some kind of a function that takes in a value between 0 and 1, and could plop out every single possible position within a 2D space, it is a space-filling curve. Space-filling curves work similarly to fractals, in that they generate more detail the larger the scale, or order they are. This, for example, is what is known as a first-order piano curve, and it does a decent job of weaving its way through most of the major regions of a square, but it misses virtually all of the space in the shape. But as the order increases, it fills more and more empty space, until the empty space appears to have disappeared. In reality, though, you can't actually fill a 2D space with a line that has a thickness of zero. But the concept still proves fascinating. So I thought it would be cool to use this concept to render images instead of just a plainly colored line. So after more time than I'd like to admit, I made a program to do just that, to render space filling curves. So let's check it out. So here on the left hand side, you can see the space filling curve. I decided not to use a piano curve like I showed earlier, and instead opted for a Hilbert curve instead. I won't get too far into the details, but overall it's a much better curve for filling 2D space. And I think it looks cooler. Anyways, the current order is 1, so let's see what happens as we increase the order. And as you can see, more and more detail fills itself in, until my computer stops working. But you didn't come here to see a boring old line. Let's add some color to it. There are a few different options for how to color the curve, but let's start with the hue mode. This changes the color of the curve depending on how far each point is on the line. So you can actually see the path the line takes when filling up the space. But the real fun is the image rendering. I'm sorry. Now you might think that getting the images to be displayed would be a difficult process, but it's actually really simple. Each image is loaded in using SFML and its built-in image class. And then when the line needs to be rendered, it pulls the color from the pixel closest to the position of each line's endpoints. And that's it. The only tricky part is making sure the image is scaled correctly to match the curve. Otherwise, you get a mess like this. Okay. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this short video. If you want to mess around with this program yourself, it will be on my GitHub, linked down below. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.